Hi, this is Greg Althaus, co-founder and CTO of Racken. We're going to continue talking about digital rebar provision. In this video, we're going to talk about adding additional pre-canned or delivered default boot environments. The, this video is going to assume that you've already run through and done the quick start provision video on our YouTube DR provision channel. So let's get to it. So at this point, I am in my install assets directory. So I'd have done an install in this directory. So I cd to assets. And I use the CLI, the ERP CLI provided above. The boot ems provide a way to install all the components needed to install a boot environment. So I'm going to do boot ems. I'm going to do, uh, let's do Ubuntu 16.04. It downloads fairly quickly. So at this, and we'll just get that started. So at this point, what's happening is the CLI is processing the boot, boot, env boot environment file, that YAML. And so if I go look, I can see it's now trying to make sure all the templates are loaded that are referenced, both explicitly and in implicitly in the templates directory here. It then processed the boot environment file and is now downloading the ISO needed to have that environment. Now, if I look in the assets directory, I will see that there's an ISOs directory that just got created. Now, when I ran the discovery load, I can see that it pulled down Sledgehammer. At this point, it's staging the Ubuntu ISO and now uploading that into um, digital rebar provision. And now it's finished. So at this point, my boot environment's available to be used on the system. And the useful thing is that the ISOs directory, if you maintain this ISOs directory, it will act as a cache. So if you ever need to reinstall or replace, if you save off this ISOs directory and put it back, then it won't download those ISOs. It'll just directly upload them into the boot environment or into the uh, digital rebar provision. One other thing to look at is the boot environments, many of them define the ISOs that they need, and so in this case, that's how it knew which ISO to go get and which version. We'll talk about how you edit and how you might update or pick up new updates as needed um, in, an, in a future video. Um, and if I go look at my UI, I can refresh the screen, and I should see in here a new, and I can also use the CLI to do this too, DRP CLI, Boot ems. List. I've added the auto completion, and so there are my boot ems all available. And I can see it over here in a more UI friendly way. And there's my Ubuntu 16.04 made available. All right, hopefully, that's helpful. Um, you can look for more information on operational how to's in our uh, Read the Docs operation section. This is kind of talking about installing a canned boot environment, kind of what I just showed as well as a bunch of others. Um, and then these videos will continue showing up on our YouTube channel. Hopefully you find that useful, and have a great day.